Hello my friend, my name is Brosif and today if you are wondering how to ever start exercising or start calisthenics and have a new year's resolution goal to get more fit or lose weight or anything like that, today I'm going to show you how to do, how to, how to just get started, how to do a wall push up. And uh, before I get into this, I just want to say like, if uh, you don't know how to do a push up yet, don't be embarrassed, you can do a wall push up. And a lot of people scoff at this, but this is actually a really good exercise to train your mind and to be able to do, and to be able to do the exercise in perfect form. Uh, and re really the most important organ of your body is the brain. So uh, this exercise is good for training your mind into getting into the right mindset. So what you want to do is place your hand on the wall and put, you want to place it not too high because you don't want to engage your elbows too much, but you don't want to place it so low that like it'll be so hard to do the push up. And what you want to do is go all the way down to the wall and kiss the wall with your forehead. And we're going to try to go up to a two sets of 50. So let's get started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, we're doing so much because it helps to uh, get our mind in the right mindset to do this in perfect form. Nine, 10. I'm doing this because I realize that a lot of you uh, have recently been sick or went through injuries and I just want to show you a quick exercise like this one, 13, uh, that you can do after you're done, after uh, you recovered from being sick or have an injury. You can also do this while you have an injury too, but just make sure that you don't injure yourself any further by doing this exercise. Try to keep your back straight. And if you ever watched any of my other videos, you probably heard me say, uh, say to go all the way down all the time. And I emphasize that a lot because that seems to be what uh, even I forget a lot of the time. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't sound too repetitive by now. If it does, sorry about that. And sorry to those who have been going through injuries and have been pretty sick these days. I, I definitely know the pain and uh, hopefully this exercise can relieve some of that pain. 31, 32, I might have miscounted some of the push-ups but 33, hopefully I'm somewhat accurate. 34, 35, 36, 37 and also if you want to make this exercise harder you can also put your legs a little bit further eight nine you probably just heard my bones popped earlier ten and actually most most of your strength actually comes from your tendons and joints so it's actually not really a bad thing to be able to do this exercise all of your strength comes from your muscles, but your strength mainly comes from your tendons and joints and your nervous system, which is why the brain is so important. And the spine. The spine is actually the second most important organ of the body. 47, 48, I feel like I'm always miscounting. 49, 50. Then we rest for however long it takes for you to recover and be able to give it your all on the next set. And when we're done resting, we're gonna do 50 on the next set yet again. All right, uh, your rest uh, could be estimated to be about three minutes, but you just need to rest as long as you can in order to give it your all on the next set. And one thing I like to emphasize is that you don't actually need a gym to work out or become, uh, to stay healthy and fit. 
You can do all these exercises at home, and that's one of the best things about calisthenics. But like, just to be clear, I'm not against weightlifting or anything, but I'm just saying that it's not absolutely necessary to, to be healthy and fit. And really the main motivation uh, for, for a lot of people that I notice is that they just want to avoid pain, but yeah, my, my, main, my main motivation is just to stay healthy and fit. So here we go. We're gonna do 50 more wall push-ups. Sorry now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And there we go, we're all done. If this is your first time uh, exercising in a while, congratulations, you just completed two sets of a pretty progressive standard. It is, it is the first step to beginning calisthenics well, at least one of them. Uh, there are a lot of beginner steps, but uh, elementary does not necessarily mean easy. So. Again, this is Brosif. Have a wonderful and beautiful day, my friend. <laughs> oh.